If you think people aren't angry about health care, watch this. Congressman Steve Kagan from my hometown of Appleton, Wisconsin, found out the rough way. He faced off with passionate voters at a town hall. You are exempt from it. Who wrote the bill? The whole government involved with us. No. Match in Green Bay last night. As Sarah Cronenberg reports, both sides spent today sharing their perspectives. Members of Congress, all live under every. They tried to make their voices heard last night. I saw absolutely no evidence that this was any kind of an orchestrated event. Not everyone is seeing it that way. Local Democrats say these protests were a coordinated effort through radical conservative groups. There were memos uh, sent and distributed by certain uh, groups affiliated with the Republican Party and um, you know, beyond that, I don't, I can't speak to if that was a Republican sponsor. Today in Kiwani, Democratic Congressman Steve Kagan held another listening session for health care. And as Jeff Alexander reports, the event was peaceful yet spirited with strong opinions on both sides of this debate. And the major problem we have today in health care is prices. Close to 100 people turn out discussion on the health care reform legislation before Congress. Most already have their minds made up. I Several dozen protesters unite today against what they So there was a really great piece of local journalism that happened yesterday in Green Bay, Wisconsin, home of the Mighty Packers, the Fort Howard Paper Company, and a TV reporter named Christopher Engelbretson, who works for NBC Channel 26. Uh, Mr. Engelbretson actually paid attention to who exactly was disrupting the event and why. He stuck around afterwards to ask those folks why they were being that way in the meeting and what their views were. And in one case, he got on the Google machine to find out whether or not these folks disrupting the meeting were really who they said they were. Check it out. Heather Blish is another one who stood out. She introduced herself as just a mom from a few blocks away, not affiliated with any political party. Later, I tried to ask her if anyone sent her here. No, I was not influenced. I'm not a member of the Republican Party. I have not paid my dues to the Republican Party for two years. I left the party. Her LinkedIn page shows something different. She was the vice chair of the Republican Party of Kiwani County until last year. She worked on the John Gar campaign, who ran unsuccessfully against Kagan last year. And it says she's a part of the Republican Party for Kagan's district, as well as the Republican Party of Wisconsin and the Republican National Committee. Again, Blish introduced herself as just a mom with no political affiliation with any party. Ta-da! Journalism! Congratulations to Christopher Engebretson of that local station in Green Bay for going the extra step to find out what was behind the incivility in his town, rather than just covering it like a ping pong match. The supposed mom from down the block who was berating Congressman Kagan, yeah, turns out she's a Republican Party official who worked for the candidate who lost to the congressman she was berating. I saw absolutely no evidence that this was any kind of an orchestrated event. Well, I saw absolutely no evidence that this was any kind of an orchestrated event.